The last area of troubleshooting I want to talk about is screen or tab view. Sometimes you'll have a student, a teacher actually start a class and you might have one student or maybe two students that just aren't showing up. They're not showing up in, you know, if you flip it in a tab view or screen view, they're just not displaying to the teacher. There are some things you can definitely check on to make sure that that student is being seen. And I've got a Chromebook here that I'm also displaying and I'm going to open it up so you can see a little bit more about what I'm talking about. With that classroom extension, make sure that when you hover over it, and if you hover over it, it will tell you if the class is in session or not. And you can see this says class session is active, and that's great. Sometimes you'll hover, you'll look at that extension, and it'll have an exclamation point on it. It'll have a red exclamation point. That usually means for some weird reason the device is not communicating with our system, is not communicating with the device console. And you can check a couple of things. One of the things you can do is come back into the device console and look at the serial number of that device and make sure that that serial number of that device and that device is listed here in Classroom. Remember, to verify and to authorize what goes on, the device has to talk to the extension and say, hey, this is my serial number, and it must authenticate that way. So that's one of the very first things to check. Make sure that the student has opened up a full website. One of the things we cannot see in Chrome tools is this. When they open up a new tab, we cannot see this. So if I go back to teacher tools and I look at Darren here, you see that Darren hasn't changed. Okay, we're not seeing Darren now because this is not a website. Okay, when a student comes here, they're not on a website. When they go to that search bar, they're not on a website. You know, I can type in um, music right there, and you're seeing it there, but it's not coming up on the teacher's screen. Once that student hits that search and starts that search, then it should start showing up, and there it is. Okay, and it says music Google search. Okay. But as they're typing it in, we cannot see it, and we will not see it at all. So make sure that that student has started up their computer. I mean, started up a website and launched a full website so we can see what is going on. Little tricks that students will also try to do, and this is why I like to use tab view more than anything, is students will try to open up side-by-side -side windows. We will see the active window um, in screen view, and that is it. In tab view, we will see everything. We will see that side-by-side -side window. Another thing you can look for in, if you're not seeing the student's screen, is have the student reboot their computer to get that extension to activate at times. Sometimes that helps. The other thing is our firewall situation. I will add that resources on our resources slide that we have is you can click on and you can go to the KB article that talks about firewalls. Now, a lot of people sit there and say, well, it's working on some devices. How can it be our firewall? Firewalls can get goofy. If you do not have all the ports fully open, it will not work on all of your devices because one of the things we use um, is a Firebase system to push out all the notifications. That Firebase system uses multiple ports at multiple times to send out the information. So you have to make sure that all the ports are open, please. I know it's weird, but please make sure that you do that. Make sure all of those ports are open and what we're looking at there. Another um, troubleshooting thing you can do 
is if you were a past GoGuardian user, please make sure that you've removed the GoGuardian extension from your G Suite account. That can block some things there also. So those are some of the things that you can check. If you've checked all those things and you're still not seeing the students, please contact us. Contact support. Put in a support ticket at support at securely.com. Now include a few things for us if you don't mind. Please include the student that's not showing up. Uh, please give us the class name. Please give us the teacher name. Please give us the time that that class was going on. And if you can send a screenshot of what that teacher is seeing, that's even better. That really helps our support department out to know exactly what you are seeing at that time so that we can look in our logs and see what's going on. Now the support department might come and engineering might come back and ask us to gather some more information. Please do not get dis discouraged. That means they're trying to track down the problem. We understand your frustration in that. Please help us out and give us the things that we need, okay? We really do appreciate that. If you ever have any questions about anything, please contact support. And it's just as easy as sending in an email to support at securely.com. And that opens up a ticket and gets support going. I hope this video series has been helpful and successful for you to launch your classroom account and get everything up and running. Once again, I do want to reiterate, if you have any questions at all, please contact us at support at securely.com. Um, there's also a phone number on our website that you can use. You can also go to support.securely.com and you can put in a ticket right there. Please do not be afraid to contact us. We are here to help and we are here to make sure that things go smoothly and everything is operational. I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. If you ever need anything, please do contact us. Thank you.